Greetings, this is Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop Extended, and today we're going to look at normal maps really quick. Normal maps are primarily used to improve render quality of a model with a low number of polygons. They're typically used in game engines and things like that. They represent geometry that doesn't really exist. So normally you render a normal map from geometry from a 3D Max or ZBrush or something like that, and then you can bring it into your other programs. And I have a crude example here with the sphere, and this is it with everything on it and if I were to go through it and show you like this is it without specular maps you can still see some of that fake geometry here and it has no specular maps and this is one reason you would use a specular map to to tell you where to put those highlights now without normals you can see that the geometry changes the shading completely changed from what it was actually with the map so we can look at it again with everything this is with all the maps and this is with out the normal map the normal map represents geometry that isn't really there and without the map the renderer doesn't know that that geometry is supposed to exist now the next question is where do I create normal maps and there you can create them in Photoshop not easily um, you can well you can actually fake it in Photoshop but first let me show you where you can actually make them there are a few different apps out there I actually used Pixplant to create my normal maps um, for this example and it creates automatically generates normal maps displacement or bumps specular maps and even the diffuse map and you can control them with some fine detail as indicated here the other one and this costs money um, I think it's like 200 bucks uh, is crazy bump and I think this is actually a, on a free beta right now it's free on the Mac public beta test and it's a really nice tool too so you can actually experiment with that it has much of the same controls and you can generate import your 3D model in there and it'll generate all these maps for you and save them out which is really nice and then you can either open in Photoshop or import them into Photoshop as I did in here I'll show you really quick I had to import those maps I'll select my material I added the specular map here just it says load texture this one already has the texture in it then the next one was bump map added that one here and you get the little bump effects and the last one I added was a normal map and that's how I got this image here which looks pretty interesting um, so experiment with those normal maps you can try to create your own in Photoshop if you like um, but you know having those programs and if they're free you might as well give them a shot and they give you some really great effects when you ray trace them if you have any questions we'll try to answer them thanks